Ask credit by hugs and kisses. What car does a devil drive? 66 Cadillac Coupe de Belle. Can confirm. I watched him drive away over the hill. Lamborghini Diablo. It's got his name right on it. This was the devil's car in the bedazzled reboot with Liz Hurley. Not a bad flick. Also holy shit was she hot. Every segment of the movie was just her doing bedroom roleplay outfits. Pontiac Aztec. He designed it. He should drive it. White Prius which is always in the fast lane. Funny story. I was driving from the San Fernando Valley to Pomdale on the 14. There are several hills. An arsehole flew past me doing about 90, downhill, in a Prius. Then I flew past him going uphill. Then he flew past me, cut me off, and flipped me off going downhill. I had the cruise control set at 70 the entire time. He doesn't drive, he rides shotgun in every Ford Mustang. As Jesus takes the wheel and aims for a gathering. Obviously innocent Ultima. Came to say a black Ultima with bumper damage and mismatched paint panels. Dodge Demon. Or a Hellcat. A Series 10 Cadillac, and wore a cigar on his lip. Saw him driving down the 61 in early July. A soul obviously. I see what you did there. Chrysler. Nice. IDKY but I always picture a blacked out 67 Lincoln Continental with red interior or something like that. Yeah, IDKY though a black 60s Lincoln too. 1960 to tuxedo black Chevrolet Corvette, those who get it get it. Hello, detective. Project Satan. A savage, intelligent military vehicle built from the most evil parts of the most evil cars in the world. The steering wheel from Hitler's staff car, the left turn signal from Charles Manson's VW, the windshield wipers from the car that played Knight Rider. Ed Begley JR's electric motor, the most evil propulsion system ever conceived. Rats. There goes my silver potato idea. A 2009 Chevy HHR. Was coming to post PT Cruiser but this is just as good. Trabby. The most impossible to scrap, unrecyclable bodish lever. When the world ends. All that will be left is Keith Richards, a few cockroaches, and the shell of a Trabant. Well, according to the song God Drives a Volkswagen thing by the Asylum Street Spankers, who, BTW, is God's favorite band, the devil drives a Mercedes. It's long and it's black and it's clean. He slams on his brakes on the entrance ramp because he's so goddamn mean. He's also got a Hummer. Since they don't specify exactly what Mercedes, I'm going to assume it's a 600 grocer. If you're wondering why, its other high profile owners include Saddam Hussein, Idi Amin, Pol Pot, and Papa Doc. An RV. Nothing is more tortuous than driving behind a slow moving RV on a road trip. At a point if you have to go uphill. A Toyota Tercel. In the left lane, at 10 under the speed limit. Ford Probe. While I no longer remember the subject of his commentary, something to do with cars, I think, many years ago and D. Rooney ended a 60 minutes piece with the sentence after all, no one wants to get rear-ended by a Ford Probe. This has lived rent-free in my head ever since, and I think it's the perfect car for the devil. 1971 Lincoln Continental Mark III Black Coupe. As shown in the 1977 movie. Lada 2101. The one in the movie The Car. That Lincoln must have been driven by Satan himself, it killed quite a few people too. 
Hellcat. I didn't know it was a car, but my father flew those during the war. Kia Soul. A classic red 1958 Plymouth Fury and her name is Christine.